first. And adjusting the bias springs. And what I've come up with at this juncture is a little bit of movement, hardly any though, which means that it's not too tight. Well, you'd be amazed what a little bit of rubber can do in a sound deadening. Right now we're driving around and we can see the road below us and it's quite loud, but it seems to be a lot better because uh, it slots into gear quite easily. And what we want to do is lower the bolt here so that the spring presses down more onto the, the, the ball joint. The power of YouTube. Uh, a week ago I put the slick shift in onto the gearbox and everything was going well and I thought I did a pretty good job except I was battling to get third gear so I asked the question in the video uh, wondering what I did wrong or if I didn't do it properly. Got a nice uh, response from Synchro Gearboxes and they told me you need to adjust the, the, the bias springs because if I put it down too tight there is no movement in third gear you can hardly get into fourth it needs a little bit of a jump which is uh, probably specific to the gearbox because see it resists so that's third, neutral, and fourth so if it's too tight, it won't get forth. You need to push it in quite hard, which is obviously a piece of purpose. But the whole point of this is that the slick shift will get a shorter throw for your gears, uh, for your gear lever. So it'll get a more positive action to get it into gear. And that is actually happening at the moment. I think there's something wrong with the gearbox anyway. It needs a bit of work. Reverse gear doesn't sound too healthy at all. I mean, Listen to this. I'm not sure if this is uh, normal. Third gear, this is the test drive. A lot better than it was. I think we got a result. So yeah, for me, Thumbs up.